great news. It's Pride Month. I mean, not that you didn't know. It's what, uh, 9 o'clock Eastern time right now? So you're probably well aware it's Pride Month. After all, you can't buy Oreos anymore without getting blasted in the, blasted in the face with this crap everywhere you go. Pardon the pun there. Don't do that. That's immature. But why is this, why is this a thing now? Why is it everywhere we look, we have to be just drowning in this filth? Why did this become a thing? Whose fault is this? How did we get here? Well, it's my fault. It's your fault, too. And look, don't beat yourself up over it. We did this. We allowed this to happen. I get, I get all these questions all the time. Jesse, how could such a tiny minority take over every part of the society? I mean, how could this happen? It's everywhere. I mean, we'll go into some of that here in a minute, but how could this happen? Well, it happens because they were more committed to their religion than we were to ours. It's not more complicated than that. How could a tiny minority worm its way into both American parties, the education system, Hollywood, corporate America, professional sports, much, much more? How could they take over absolutely everything? Well, they wanted to spread their message more than you wanted to stop them and spread yours. More than I wanted to stop them and spread mine. I'm not pointing fingers. It's our fault. We let a tiny minority of cultural Marxist radicals take over every good and decent thing in this country. And we did it by being nice, by being hands off. Hey, live and let live. Hey, do whatever you want. Hey, it's just equality. No big deal. It's just equality we're talking about here. We equalitied ourselves. We equalitied ourselves right into drag kids dancing on Good Morning America while the cr crowd cheers. We equalitied ourselves right into Nickelodeon, a child's channel, a channel designed for children's programming. When I grew up watching Nickelodeon, you know what I used to watch on Nickelodeon? The old black and white videos. That's what they used to play on Nickelodeon. My mother could let me if, it, if I was allowed to watch TV time. It was, I was watching the Andy Griffith Show. What are your kids watching today on Nickelodeon? Here's what they're watching. And white represent transgender people because every letter in LGBTQ plus is equal and black and brown represent the queer and trans people of color doesn't it just fill you with pride showing who you are on the inside with that pride flag up high be true to you show your pride with those flags everybody that's what our kids get how did we let that happen? We were really nice. We were live and let live. Hey, do what you want. We allowed the foot in the door, and now this filth is everywhere. Your kids on TikTok? How much time do your kids spend watching TikTok? You know they got one billion people on TikTok. On top of the fact it's Chinese spyware, TikTok's already announced they're going to be pushing all this LGBTQ filth everywhere. Kids going to enjoy that? Are those your values? Look, hey, this, this all comes home to me, too. Dagon Marine Corps got in on it today. Woke up first thing, every single person who has my cell phone number or email address has sent me gigantic tweet from the once, the few, the proud, the Marines. They used to put wanted po or recruiting posters out that saying, we don't promise you a Rose Garden. Join the Marines. Get hard. Get tough. Now, it's Gay Pride Month. Woohoo! You see... Your grandfather, he was a Marine. He went to Tarawa. The guy who led his platoon was a hard-charging man trying to kill as many Japanese people as possible. Make sure your grandfather got home. Your son, he'll sail to the Pacific and go to war too, only he'll be on the USNS Harvey Milk. And it's everywhere. It's way beyond the Marines. It's way beyond Nickelodeon. You can't sit down on a Sunday and turn on professional sports anymore. We've talked endlessly about NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball. They're all disgusting filth. Greg Abbott, governor of Texas, showed up at a NASCAR event. NASCAR puts out some gigantic thing today, apologizing for it and somehow bringing up LGBTQ people. Now, how's that happen? How's that humanly possible? How is it possible that something like NASCAR, where, I mean, honestly, NASCAR fans, 
90% of them don't agree with this kind of crap at all. 90%, probably 90% plus, plus. But NASCAR still feels comfortable putting out something like that. Why do they feel comfortable putting out something like that? Because of you and because of me. Because we still sit down on Sunday and we just choose to let this stuff go. Well, I can't. My dad watched Dale Earnhardt. I got to watch Junior out there. And we turn on NASCAR and we enjoy. Because we sit back and we watch the NFL still. Oh, I don't care. Dump on America. Dump on America. Hey, man, I got my fantasy team. We've done this. We don't vote with our dollars. They do. Corporate America knows it, too. All these Ivy League degree communist universities, they go right into professional sports now, and they start putting this filth in those boardrooms for two different reasons. One, they're communists. They're cultural Marxists. That's what they do. They serve a higher calling than money in their eyes. And two, you and me, we do not put our money where our morals are. We still won't make basic sacrifices. If every NASCAR fan who disagreed with that walked away and turned off the television, this stuff would stop overnight. But instead, <laughs> it's tradition, man. Got to go with my uncle. Well, enjoy the rot of your culture and society in the United States of America. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History. Che Guevara, the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.